Welcome back to The Holy Land Uncovered. I'm Jordana Miller. Bartholomew I of Constantinople is the spiritual leader of the Eastern Orthodox Church. He recently visited Israel and was honored by Hebrew University. He also participated in a special summit with high-ranking officials from the Orthodox, Christian, and Jewish worlds. Let's have a look at that story. The Christian Orthodox Church and the Jewish faith historically did not have the best relationship. But four decades ago, the two religions decided to begin a new chapter, one of open dialogue and understanding. Every year, leaders from both communities come together for workshops and education about each other's faiths. We have already achieved a lot in overcoming suspicions, barriers, prejudices, and I think the official positions of the vast majority of the Orthodox churches today are extremely positive towards Jews and Judaism. In honor of the progress made, the 40th anniversary of these interfaith discussions was held in Jerusalem, a city sacred to both of the Abrahamic religions. The head of the Orthodox Christian faith, the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, stressed the importance of this biblical city. This conference demonstrates that our ancient and venerable faiths rooted in the soil of this city are committed to a dialogue of love, mercy, and justice. But Jerusalem is not always a city of compassion. The political hotspot is currently making headlines over the division amongst the many religions and ethnicities that consider it a sacred place. I think Jerusalem is the most appropriate uh, place, and especially in the current developments and uh, situations that we live on here. And uh, we do this in order to pass a message uh, around the world that uh, Jerusalem is, uh, spiritually speaking, important for uh, everyone uh, individually and collectively for the whole world. While the political world may be creating further division, for now, the Jews and Christian Orthodox are continuing to forge a path of friendship. The two faiths will continue to advocate for education and understanding.